Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here. Apple has just released the GM build of iOS and iPadOS 13.5 to register developers. Now before we get into the video, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchool Tech. Every subscriber we get truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Timestamps are in the description if you'd like to use them. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. The iOS 13.5 GM has released to all registered developers. This update comes in at 2.92 GB on my iPhone SE first generation, 3.12 GB on my iPhone 7, and 3.7 GB on my iPhone 11. The big file sizes are due to the fact that all of these devices are coming from the latest developer beta 4. iOS 13.5 is the first 0.5 milestone update we have ever seen in iOS, and it will likely be the last milestone update to iOS 13 before the release of iOS 14. This update brings some new features, including an easier way to unlock Face ID while wearing a mask, introduces the first iteration of Apple and Google's Exposure Notification API for contact tracing, and introduces a way to control automatic prominence of video files in a group FaceTime call. This update also adds an option to automatically share health and other essential information from your medical ID with emergency services when you place an emergency call. However, this feature is only available to users here in the United States. As always, this update also brings some bug fixes and improvements iOS 13.5 fixes an issue where users may see a black screen when trying to play streaming video from websites just in time for WWDC, and addresses an issue in the share sheet where suggestions may not load. Now there are also general improvements and likely more security fixes included within this update, for example an issue where data would fail to be secured while using a VPN. The build number for this release is 17F57, which of course has been changed since Beta 4's build number 17F5065A. Now we can see here that the modem firmware version has not changed, meaning that any connectivity issues with Wi-Fi or cellular you may have had have not been fixed. The GM or Gold Master copy of iOS 13.5 is identical to the full public release. If you're on iOS 13.5 beta, just update to the GM copy and you'll be all set. And of course, if you'd like to opt out of the beta, just head into settings, general profiles or profiles on device management and uninstall the beta profile to stop receiving beta updates. If you're on iOS 13.4.1 or older, I'd expect to see the full release tomorrow or Wednesday with the latest being mid next week. Now of course, I will have a full review of iOS 13.5 coming later this week for the iPhone SE first generation and iPhone 7. The iPhone 7 may be a little later as I might need some more time to test it out and see how battery life and overheating come along. Now as always, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.